Hey there, what's going on? Dog trainer, behavior technician, Drake Michaels. Thanks for tuning into Modern Dog Training. We're going to be taking a look at a series of sessions that I did with a dog named Rudy. He's one and a half. He's a Bernie Doodle. His people reported that he is reactive towards people, dogs, traffic, and sounds. On session number three, I had been out of the mix for a couple of weeks because the family went on vacation. I had gotten some information from the family that Rudy was a little bit more reactive than usual, but still doing better than previous before I got in the mix. On this session, I was able to handle Rudy. I was able to do the counter conditioning and the training. We saw a couple of dogs and a person, and he stayed under threshold the whole time. Remember, the human is the variable, and when the human improves their skills, the dog will do better. Let's take a look at session number three with Rudy. You're okay. Don't worry so much. You're okay. Come on. Don't worry so much. Yeah. You're all right. Yeah. We had a good time last time I was here, right? Yeah. How are you? You know the catch? Yeah, you got a good catch. All right. Yeah, you go first. You go first. Yeah, you like me now, huh? Yeah, we're buddies, huh? Let's just hang out here in the driveway for a sec, and I'll get the uh, I'll get the uh, treats out for him while he's uh, let's hook him on the back. Uh, go away. It's okay. Where you want to go? Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, we had a good time last time. Don't worry so much. Come on. Yeah, go away. So I feel like one of the things I'm still struggling with is like getting his attention to let him know like to I, I guess to respond to the yes because sometimes like right so I'll say it I, out of nowhere and I feel like he doesn't so recognize it so you're marking him and he's not popping off the marker right until right. like it once I actually like start then right. you'll so here's the thing like he may not pop off the marker one of the things about the marker is that if the dog's gonna pop off the marker the stimulus is either gonna be far enough away or not too intense. So for instance, you know, if he sees a jogger way over there, he might pop off the marker, but if he sees a jogger right across the way here, he may not, right? So stimulus distance and saliency is gonna be a big part of it. Um, the other thing is you can, you can put a little prompt in after. Leave it all the way. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, film them again. Film them again. Leave it. Yes. 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 Popping off the marker now. Yes. Even though we had a sudden sighting, right? We had a sudden sighting. You saw he was able to, yes, leave it. Because what I did was I, I yelled, leave it, and then we just moved. And I kept asking him to leave it as we walked. Yes. Now we'll follow this dog. Yes. Popping off the marker. Yes. Yes. Popping off every time. Yes, ooh, disengaged on your own that time. Wait. You're okay. Don't worry so much, come on. That was a good one, buddy. All right, chew your food. Chew your food, chew your food. I can't help you with that part. You gotta chew your food. Yes. All right, so he's still clocking that dog, but he's popping off the marker. Leave it. Yes. So you see, if he moves a little bit, like he wants to lunge out, leave it. Yes. I'll get a, I'll get a disengagement cue. Touch. Yes. Oh, find it. Find it. 
Find it. Get your treats. Find it. You're a silly goose. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Yes. I'm gonna pay for that big sound. Whatever that was. Sound like a dumpster or something. Oh, we went through that turkey pepperoni quick, kid. But that's all right. All right. Uh, might be something way down there. We're gonna keep following this dog though. He's doing good. So again, I'm set up so I got a little bit of coverage. And this way here, I can just wait and see which way they're gonna go. He hasn't noticed him yet. Remember, this guy's on his phone. Always take a always take stock in what they're doing, because a lot of times that's gonna be a big factor too. So this day is this day is definitely hotter than the last time, and there's more dogs out, yeah. <laughs> which is crazy. Maybe it's the time of day, yeah. one o'clock. So this is kind of the same scene of the crime as our first, right? So it looks like they're coming towards us. Yes. So we're gonna move a little bit, right? I want to get a little bit more distance, but he saw him. I get a little bit more distance. Yes. 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 Okay. A lot of dogs out today, bud. One of the things I'm noticing too is like, when I'm working him, other than the first time, and that first time I think it's just because we had too close too soon, and we had the truck, then we had the little dog, then we had that pity, but both times today and leave it, both times today and the last time I was here, like I'm able to get him to disengage, he's responding to the marker, so you might just have to put a little bit more coach in your voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. A little bit more like, you know, again, I tell people, be like a coach. You can be intense, but just be specific and encouraging. Come on, bud. And again, like I said last time, pay for a lot of sub criteria. You know, you see a dog way down the way, take a minute, right? Because you know you got distance. Let them get a couple of mark and pays in because they might come around right here. You know, like the way your um, place is structured is you've got all kinds of circular walkways, you know? You know, let him get those scents, man. It's a great way for him to get mental stimulation. Plus, he gets to meet these dogs. He gets to meet them, so to speak. And again, while his head's down here, gives me an opportunity to look around and make sure uh, nothing's going to surprise me. You know, but it can happen. Look how we, I was paying attention when we were first out, and that dog just showed up. So it can happen. If it does, though, if you were in that situation, man, just say, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. You know, and again, like if his head whips around, I don't care what it is, just mark and pay. Sound, person, dog, it doesn't matter. Yes. 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 Show your food, bud. Yes. But let's just hang here for a second, see if we get a sighting here. So again, like if you're out here with him and you're inclined, this is exactly what I would do if I lived here and he was my dog. Every walk would be an exercise in this. Be like, oh, okay, I know who that guy is. Great, let me wait. Oh, he's coming around again? Let me set up so I can get a mark and pay if he comes by here. Cause what I like about this scenario here is you're gonna get a sighting and then maybe two to five seconds and then he's gone. Yep, there we are. You're okay. 
Yes! Yes! And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him go and we're gonna come out and get another sighting. All right, I'm gonna preload. Leave it, leave it. Yeah, we're not chasing birds. We're not chasing birds, buddy. Boop. Leave it. We're not chasing birds. Boop. Leave it. Yes. Yeah, he could have just got excited. All right, so he's going right in there. Yes. Head back. It's really hot out here. <laughs> 